Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I have a haul for you and I'm going to do a try on and show you them as well, sort of snippets. So I'm going to be doing a couple of things in this video. So I have a haul from H&M. So the first thing I want to show you, it's beauty and it's fashion and homeware actually. I'll show you the homeware first and I ordered this little, I haven't even opened it yet, um, copper looking um pot that you're meant to put a um candle in and i thought it was really cute but i thought it might be quite nice for things like my lip euphorias because i just got these um i thought it'd be quite nice as a a cup for holding makeup so i absolutely love 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 this sort of style the geometric sort of style yeah, it's really pretty. Um, I don't know how much it cost actually, but it's really nice as well. If you did want to put a candle in there, I think it's a really pretty, pretty shape. There'll be nice sort of patterns on that. I really like that. Uh, and on to beauty, because I think that, no, actually, we won't go on to beauty yet. We'll do that last. Um, on to fashion. So I ordered, and I'm just opening it now, so I'll have to do a try on and show you what I think of them while during the video. Um, so this is a... God knows what is this oh it's a dress it's a dress i've just remembered it's an off the shoulder black dress and it's um i'm excited to try this actually i think this will be really nice i'm really it's really stretchy so it's definitely going to fit um it's like a body con sort of style i love this look how stretchy that is i'm really excited to try this because i love thick black jumper dresses actually the one i've got on now this top that i've got now is from h&m um, I'm really enjoying this stuff at the minute and if you keep checking they throw things into the sale all the time all of these are in the sale and none of them were more than £20 so that is such a bargain um, and then this is a dress again it's quite thick material actually bizarrely um, oh this is oh it's got pockets guys it's got pockets you know what I'm like oh my gosh um, is this a dress or is it yeah I think it is very thick material really thick material it's almost like that scuba stuff but not it's got red horses on i'm not really a horsey person either but i quite like the idea that it's black and red it's completely winter isn't it it's not a spring dress at all but it's one of those things that i can wear um just to sort of doss around the house um because our house is always cold even in the summer so i will do a try on and i'll insert those here now um so you can see i'll like take over the video and i'll show you what that looks like i'll do that now wow this is um this is some dress it's very tight as in like feels tight on it's an off the shoulder dress um i don't really like the off the shoulderness but it's all right i can wear the bra just slightly the straps slightly further down it's not too bad oh i'm cold um <laughs> that was that was bad um yeah it's quite nice it's quite tight fitting i quite like it though actually i, I like how i do like a good bodycon dress so the fact that it's really tight across the bum um i like that that it's actually tight so yeah i like this one what i might do actually is pop a vest underneath and see what that looks like just see what it looks like with something my shoulders aren't broad enough for this dress. They're very rounded, so I'm not sure I like that so much. Um, let's just try and pull that up a bit more. I don't know. It is one that I would... Oh, God, I'm so cold. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I like how round my shoulders look in it. But I like it nonetheless. Let me know what you think. So this is the horse dress i actually like the length of the sleeves i just realized that this is far too high there you go this is the horse dress um it is really sort of relaxed isn't it the pockets are so low actually um knee length on me just below knee length pockets sort of need flattening out actually it gives it a weird lumpy shape um but i quite like it actually it's um it's comfortable for sure i really like the it's quite baggy but for every day it's not bad actually i quite like it yeah i quite like it in terms of every day for sure butt pick <laughs> do 
yeah I quite like that one it is an everyday one feels very comfortable I think it'll wash well as well oh god I'm getting old I'm saying it'll wash well mental it's not exactly the most shapely dress but it is what it is so I quite like it with the vest underneath I feel like it what it does I know this is a pink one but I thought that might, might be quite cool I feel like what that does is makes my shoulders look a bit more square even though my hair covers it to be fair um I don't know I think I prefer it with the vest underneath I really like the dress though I really do so that's a definite keeper I am going to keep the other one as well it's comfortable it does what it needs to um god my bum is so big isn't it look at it it's like it's just big like even if I lost weight which I have done just look at it sort of goes round <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this on video. Anyway, so that is it. I really like this actually. When I look at myself in it this way, I feel really slinky. Do you know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah, I like it. So I am going to keep this. So yay. Yay. I might wear it tonight actually. I quite like it. Anyway, going to go. So next up, I bought some nail varnishes. Their nail varnishes have some of the best formulas I have ever used, ever. So I bought some and I think I really had influence of the spring. Um, and I have one on my nails now and I'll tell you, I've only got one coat on as well. So I'll, I'll sort of go through each one and the one I've got on my nail as well. So I'll show you the one I've got on my nails today. Is it this one? Is it this one? Yes. So this colour I have on my nails today, I have one coat. It took one coat to get this opaqueness. You could do two coats and it'd be even better, but I just did one because I did them quickly. They've got that thick sort of brush. Can you see? Thin that way, thick that way. So it just literally just slide it on and it's done. They're very quick drying. And I just, I don't even know what colour you would call this. A muted peach maybe? Um, definitely got, it's like a nudie peach. I can't really describe this colour and it's really pretty on the nails actually it's something really different it's, it's almost orange but isn't it's definitely a lovely spring colour I really like that and you'll see a theme here because there's a few colours that are similar um, so I'll carry on with those sort of colours so the next one I got was Portofino which is such a pretty peach colour this is that one they are very similar but this is a bit duskier and it's, it's basically a duskier colour than that but that is more of a a real um, pastel peach colour and I'm excited for this one because I think this is the colour that Claire has been looking for so this is really for Claire um, I don't know what she's going to say when she realises I've spent more money but um, you know they're not expensive and she has been desperate for a peach so I thought I'd try this one out because this is something different it's quite milky as well I like this creamy formula and again that's something you'll see throughout so um, what was this called Portofino really pretty for the springtime and actually it'd be very pretty on our wedding day although I think I've picked one of them for the wedding day moving on to something very different we have heliotrope and it's this gorgeous I can't even describe the color of this purple it's like a lilac -y, light lilac -y, pink I've got a few colors this color but darker um so this is a lighter color than that I don't what would you call this it's like a lilac -y with a hint of pink has it got glitter in oh this one's got a really different formula it seems I want to just see no it hasn't got glitter in it is a cream formula they are so good um, I'm very excited to try this one out over the spring as well and also another color which is really exciting is this gorgeous one called peppermint oh I love this sort of color I do have similar colors to this but not this exact color what's really nice is it's um it's coming off slightly different on camera it's a bit greener in real life it's not as dark that looks much darker I think um, it's a bit greenier and paler this peppermint colour really excited to try that and then the two colours which I'm there's sort of a trend going on at the moment isn't there this sort of nudie nail colours um, and I got sepia which is this colour which is actually very very like my skin tone but 
slightly darker and I think I can just get away with it. It has got pinkiness to it, so I think I'll definitely get away with it. And that is sepia. And then the one that I'm really excited about is called Masala Chai. And it is an off-white creamy colour. It's almost like a brownie cream. I can't describe that at all. Really excited to try this. I like having bright white nails, but this is just that slightly off milky colour. Um, there were quite a few in this range, actually. Um, if you want to go and have a look on the website, there were quite a few different whitey tones. And I thought this one would be better because it's sort of off white. <sighs> I don't even know what colour that I could describe this as. It's not quite cream. It's like a I don't know, yogurt colour? <laughs> yeah, like a yogurty colour. I'm so excited for those. So these are the six polishes that I ordered and I'm very excited to give those a try. So I will insert the try-ons um, before the, the, the thing is. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you like and subscribe if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Take care, guys.